Hi guys, today we're going to talk about an artist named Henri Matisse and he had some famous artwork called Paper Cutouts. So we're going to learn a little bit about him. Here are our success criteria and our objectives today. First, we want to understand what paper cutouts are. Why? Because Henri Matisse invented a new art form that is used a lot today. I want you to be able to explain why and how Henri Matisse made paper cutouts. This is Henri Matisse. He lived from 1869 to 1954, and he lived most of his life in France. Here's a painting when he first started being an artist. He was actually a lawyer first, but just liked art so much that he started making paintings and doing artwork full time. This one has a lot of browns, warm colors, and it looks pretty real. If you squint your eyes at it, it almost looks like a paint, like a photo, not a painting. It is a painting. Here's another painting he did, kind of similar colors. Um, but in this one, he's starting to have more of a focus on different shapes. So I've got a shape here. These walls are shapes. Have another shape here. Then he created this painting. This one's called Portrait of Madame Matisse. And it also became known as the green stripe because of the green on her nose. Um, he made this in 1905. And guess what? Ah, people were so mad that he made something they thought was so weird. They were like, noses aren't green. They wanted things to be real and it's too bright. Oh, they really didn't like it. But Henri Matisse loved making his art in a new way. And he started looking more at shapes and bright colors. You can see lots of designs in this picture and also lots of designs here too with the little fish. When he got older, oops, Use that. Oh, sorry. Let me make that big again. Oh, stop. Sorry. Well, I can tell you when he got older, he had a hard time moving his legs. Um, getting up and walking around, he just, I mean, he was pretty old. He was in his 80s and 90s. And so he was too weak to paint, and he began to make artwork in a new way by cutting out paper, and he would have assistants arrange all his colorful papers for him out of the designs he made. And he'd kind of direct them. You can kind of see one on the wall back here behind him. And look at, look at this mess. I bet he had his assistants clean that up too. Sometimes I'd like an assistant to clean up my mess. He even made a book called Jazz, his favorite type of music. When an artist makes a bunch of artwork about a single thing, it's called a theme. So his theme was about jazz music and how it made him feel. Here's a picture from the book. This is just kind of designs, but it kind of, you can kind of think of music kind of bouncing around like these little squares are down here. Also stained glass windows based on his design. I don't think he cut the glass. He probably had assistants do that too. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to use paper cutouts to show a theme or a big idea. I want you to pick something from your life. It's fun to explore materials. I want you to think of 10 things to show one theme from your life. I have a list on here. Could be nature, toys, cars, swimming, baking. I don't know. These are some ideas kids have come up with. Planes, the park, uh, movies, camping, dinosaurs, painting, exercise, school, food, reading. I think that says animals. It's covered by me. But lots of different things you could pick. Okay, so for each thing, you're going to draw and color shapes to show your theme. I want you to um, 
Why? Because it's fun to explore materials. I want you just to use shapes. See how this cat is just the shape of a cat? I don't want all this drawing stuff because that's not what Henri Matisse did. Now, if I wanted to add stripes with other paper, I could do that or cut out circles and glue them on for his eyes. I could do that, but we're not going to draw. Then you have to color each shape a different color. Oops. So here's my picture I did. This was my brainstorming. So I wanted a theme of art. So I have a paintbrush, a paint palette, a paint tube, a water cup, paint blobs, an easel. That's what you can kind of, if you see artists standing while they're painting, that's on an easel. I did a painting and then I put, I made some designs to go onto my painting. And then I colored them. That is what we're going to do for today. We'll talk about making the paper cutout on Thursday.